Conducted in 1920 by behaviorist John B. Watson and his graduate student Rosalie Rayner, the Little Albert experiment aimed to explore classical conditioning in human behavior. The study involved an infant known as Little Albert, who was initially unafraid of a white rat. Watson and Rayner sought to condition a fear response by pairing the sight of the rat with a loud, frightening noise made by striking a metal bar with a hammer. Over time, little Albert began to associate the rat with the noise and exhibited signs of fear not only toward the rat but also toward other white, fluffy objects such as a rabbit and a fur coat. The Little Albert experiment provided significant insights into classical conditioning by demonstrating that emotional responses could be conditioned in humans. However, it is heavily criticized for its ethical shortcomings. Albert's mother was not fully informed about the nature and potential consequences of the experiment, meaning informed consent was not properly obtained. The study induced fear and distress in little Albert without any attempt to reverse the effects, potentially leaving him with long-term psychological harm. There was no debriefing or follow-up to determine the long-term impact on little Albert or to mitigate any adverse effects he experienced. Little Albert was a vulnerable infant who couldn't consent or understand highlighting ethical issues in using vulnerable populations for research. These ethical issues illustrate the importance of safeguarding participants' rights and well-being in psychological research, serving as a cautionary tale for future studies.